Buenos días. días. ¿Cómo están? We are just getting our day started. We actually are coming here to this hardware store. Pretty much trying to find a few things for um, the house. So we're just here. This is what we're going to be doing. Half of, their, half of our day. Es que no sabemos where anything is this in, in the store. We're here in this new store now. Alright, so we were at the wrong hardware store. Yeah. So that's not that department where we're supposed to be looking for. Um, the good thing is that we asked because we were looking around, we we're like, mm, this doesn't seem right. <laughs> Yeah, we're looking for windows because we want to switch out our windows. So that's why I was like, um, I don't see any fucking windows here. <laughs> but they have a lot of stuff there too. Huh? Yeah. Um, but yeah, it turns out they have two different stores. One that's dedicated to just like paint, like little things like that. Um, and then the other one where it's like big things, like big windows gates all that shit so that's where we're going looking at the doors i was over here looking at the windows i kind of like this one right here this one? Uh -huh. yeah, that one actually looks better you like that one huh <laughs> does anybody remember this song <laughs> this used to be one of my childhood songs with my brothers. We would always sing it and dance it. <laughs> Along with like Manga Boys and all this other stuff. Obviously, it does not top off El Chichicuilote. <laughs> um, but right now, we are going on our way back home. We actually got lots of different price quotes. We went to a few different places and fucking crazy how they all have different prices but we're gonna have to have my dad check it out so he can help us like decide um just because like some of them like i understand like salespersons like they're trying to like sell you like the most expensive one or whatever but sometimes it's like you know you don't want to be fooled and since i don't know anything about this i'm like let me just take the papers home have my dad look at them he would know best um because obviously he's bought in so many windows in the past before so I was like let me just get it, gather all my info and just take it to him um, but yeah so we're now we are getting home we're gonna check on our babies that way we can have lunch um, but yeah so I'm just glad that we already got over with all this um, with the window stuff because it's actually so draining when you have to go to so many different places and look at the different like windows and then they start talking to you about like all the specific stuff it's like uh <laughs> since i don't really know much about that stuff like i'm just always like oh, okay fiberglass got it oh, okay aluminum oh, okay venom you know all this shit you know so it's a lot to take in <laughs> at one point so um yeah i'm just like uh, i'm just glad i got it over with <laughs> so we're my mom's nursery we're eating carne con chile and I'm wearing white like that is a dangerous thing hopefully I don't get dirty huh I better pray even though I always get dirty <laughs> lashes always make a difference oh baby <laughs> um I didn't get my sweater dirty so that was good but I am going to be changing out of it because I'm going to be filming my fashion overhaul so right now I'm going to do the try on and then I'll do the talking but yeah so we're just going to get started because it's kind of a lot of clothes honestly so I'm just going to try to get by it super quickly and yeah so we just finished doing the try on haul now I'm going to start doing the official video talking to you guys about every single piece and we are done filming I'm okay, baby. It's back there. Are you pooped? <laughs> ah. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go have dinner now. Now that I finished, <sighs> I noticed that it's now harder to film both videos, English and Spanish, just because it's a lot of talking, and I have to remember to catch my breath. <laughs> we just finished having dinner. We're gonna go for our walk. 
<laughs> Vente. He wants to leave already. I'm not. No, let's go for a walk. I have to do my daily walk. What do you mean already leave? Well, I can be more. You want me to No. Chipedor. We should have brought the dogs. Esta vez se nos olvidó. We usually always bring them because they love coming here. Si ellos pudieran, aquí vivirían, verdad? Yeah. Even Coco, he always gets sad when he has to go home. <laughs> Es que aquí hay un chingo de espacio para ellos correr y todo. Y como está como bien, uh, bien solo, como no hay, no hay yeah. personas, como ni otros animales. Because usually at uh, dog parks, not dog parks, because aquí en Carp there's like literally no dog parks. But like at parks, they know that they're supposed to be on a leash. leash. So ellos quisieran correr cuando se les dé la gana. But... No, aquí hasta vela le no yeah. adelante las plantas y brinca y salta y, y corre. Y... Yeah. They're like the happiest. Ahorita que comí, me siento bien, bien llena, you guys. Look at this, baby girl. Ah, mira quién me encontré. Hey, what are you doing, ma'am? Oh. So right now, I've been editing. You know what? I'm I'm just gonna take them off because. I've been editing the whole afternoon right now and uh, my eyes are so tired. Um, so I've been editing my fashion overhaul which is going to go up probably by the time you guys are watching this already. It's already been up. So if you guys want to go see it, go to my main channel. Um, but yeah, it's just basically my first pregnancy haul which I'm so excited. Um, and then also if you guys know of any cute maternity stores, go to my video. Let me know in the comment section because I want to start shopping at really cute maternity stores just so I can see if they're worth it and also like what their quality is like because I know obviously every store is like different. Um, so yeah, let me know if you guys know of any cute ones that are on trend and everything. And yeah. <laughs> ¿Qué dijiste contraste? Watch, watch. ¿Qué, ¿Qué pedo se te atoró, güey? <laughs> She literally contraste. comes into my room and says that. ¿Qué pedo se te atoró, güey? Ok, sí, porque alcancé a oír que estaban chingando. ¿Qué traes o qué se te atoró? ¿Qué pedo te gorgorea? Pasa <laughs> esto, güey. ¿Qué te risa, güey? Frente a frente, pecho a pecho, güey. <laughs> oh, so you're being serious. <laughs> she swears I'm always out to get her. Oh, you want glam glam? She goes out of my bathroom and she goes, ¿Y esta puta para qué? ¿Es para masturbarte o qué? Pues sí, güey. Oh, my God. Bruh. Dale, dale a mi espalda. It's para tu cuello y like right here, your cheekbones. I mean, I guess. <laughs> Ready to watch the act. We are literally just now in the last two episodes. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna watch this with a little cereal. No tiene el, el cover porque muchos me estaban preguntando como cuál, cuál es el show que miramos. Oh, let me, there it is. That's the ad. And it's only, I think, on Hulu. I'm not sure about Netflix. I just know about Hulu, so that's why we're watching it on Hulu. Y luego um, también está en, like, um, the, el documentario, ¿no? Creo que son dos también. Oh, yeah, there is a... Uh -huh. I think that one's on YouTube, though. ¿En YouTube o Netflix? Oh, wait. Algo sí, algo sí, bueno, no sé muy bien Yeah, I actually saw one on YouTube. It's like super long, but I haven't seen it because I want to first finish watching the actual show and then go watch the real thing. So, um, yeah, but anyways, we're going to watch the last two episodes and see what happens. Well, most likely we're only going to watch one and then go to sleep because it's already late. But anyways, we're just going to say goodnight, you guys. So, well, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.
Let me baby. Hello, baby. Mm. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Buenos Lucia. dias. ¿Cómo están? We are just now getting our day started. We are in our workout clothes. He's over here in his bike type of th stuff, but um, he's going to go ride his bike and I'm going to go and work out with my trainer. She's about to come any minute now. So I'm just trying to get ready. I'm going to get my hair up and the hat and everything so that way it's not in the way and also so the sun is not hurting my eyes. Um, but yeah, so we're just going to get our day started being active i guess you could say and then after that i'm gonna have to get ready real quick because we have to go to an event today today is the two face event so we gotta get ready for that because we gotta be on time because i guess i don't know if it's the universe studios do you know what studios it is babe i forgot which studios it is but it's one of those studios where we have to be there on time if not then after that they won't let you in so i gotta make sure i leave on time so that's why right after I finish working out, I'm just going to get ready, shower and everything, and head out. Even though right now the sun is out, it feels a little chilly. I feel like it's like... <laughs> I feel like it's like winter weather um, where like there is sun, but the wind is really chilly, if that makes sense. Um, hey, leave the cat alone! My little sexy biker. <laughs> Uh, Bye. Bye. Love you. Love you too. Right here. Yep. And then as you come up, check the pelvis. Good. Good. Not too hard. No. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> so the plank up. So you start on your elbows and toes, mm -hmm. and then push up. Plank. Back down. Which arms? Four. 25 right behind you. So when you do that single arm, make sure that you're not dropping it down. You want to keep everything back. And then, same thing, we don't want to twist. Like right here? Mm-hmm. Perfect. Okay, right Very nice. That one's done, okay. Just finished my workout. Felt brutal, <laughs> but my legs are shaking, my ass are sh is shaking. But <laughs> it's really hot now. Like it's finally. I don't know if it's because I just worked out now. I don't feel like the cold air, but it feels fucking hot. <laughs> what up, guys? I know I look so fucking weird, and that's because. Anyways, I was saying that um. I don't have anything on my eyes as far as mascara and lashes because the event for today is with Too Faced and it's for their new mascara and they told us to go naked, which I know some girls are probably going to show up with lashes or something, but I actually do want to give it a try um, just because the handle is a little bit different from their Better Than Sex, so I am going naked. <laughs> so that's why I don't have anything on my lashes or anything. and. I didn't want to wear eyeliner just so I could see my real first impression of the mascara once I'm there. Um, but yeah, so I guess I'm a baby. We're all like, we're matching in our jean jackets. <laughs> no, I wore this first and then you, we always end up doing this anyways. Um, we'll both go into our closets, we change, and then when we see each other, we're like, bruh, like, did you see me picking this out or something? Like, why did we just end up having the same color scheme or either like, you know, type of like messy, matchy matchy. I don't know, this always happens to us. <laughs> um, but anyways, we're already on our way. We're also gonna stop by for some food. So we're most likely gonna be food on the way there just because we don't have time to like go to my mom's nursery or something or stop by at a restaurant. So most likely we're gonna get like maybe or something. I haven't had that in such a long time because the the closest flame broiler to us is in Thousand Oaks, right? Okay. Yeah. So well, it's kind of like new, yeah. But it's I mean it's right next to Thousand Oaks. Um. So yeah, that's why we haven't had it in a while because we haven't been there in a while. So we thought we would. 
just get some for today since we were already on our way there. So yeah. So hey, camos. Um, the lot that we're gonna be in is in Universal Studios, so I was right. Um, but yeah, we're gonna be going esta Ale and Joanna, Caesar, and obviously Dennis are here too. And yeah, so I can't wait to see what Too Faced has. I just can't wait until I have mascara on because I swear to God, I look like a freaking alien. Yeah, me siento bien I feel naked. If you guys know me, lashes is my thing when it comes to makeup. Like, I don't feel complete with it. Like, even if it's just mascara, but at least I need something. I need something on my eyes. <laughs> oh, mom to be. <laughs> you guys are having a girl. Congratulations. Yes, thank you. Oh. Were you so surprised? <laughs> Something that would give you options. So when it's time to be a little. All right, here's Joe. Say hi. I'm like, why are you hiding? Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, yeah. Ready to run? Ready to be Miren el oso. El, el pinche oso alcohólico. Bien pisteado y tú ya no puedes ahorita. No, bien pisteado el cabrón, me gana, mira. You guys are not gonna believe. Stop, it's not even funny. You're over here like taking it as a joke. I don't fucking like that. Um, you guys are not gonna believe what just happened. So we're trying to get home because obviously it's like super late already. Um, and ¿Eh? Yeah, we're literally about to arrive. Like, it's just a few more exits. And I noticed that he was kind of like wanting to speed, and I'm like, okay, like, we're gonna get there at home. Like, there's no traffic. Like, calm your tits. Like, go to the speed limit. So I told him, I was like, um, slow down, just go to the speed limit. So then, um, fine. He listened to me and he, like, started going to the speed limit. Next thing you know, poquito a poquito le empezó otra vez a pisar el cabrón. I had I didn't realize it because like he went slowly up, you know. <laughs> Next thing you know, like obviously we're we're holding hands because you know we're over here cute. <laughs> and um, I see this fucking motorcycle like pull up right next to us, like driving the same speed limit. So then um, I didn't want to turn around because I just thought it was weird that like a motorcycle like just sped up and like got right next to it to my my door. So I was like. That's like kind of creepy, you know. Like, and it's always awkward when you turn around and then you like you're looking at the person. I don't know. It's, it's always awkward for me. So I was like, I don't want to turn and look who's there, and if it's a cop. But something in me told me like it's a fucking cop. So then I looked over and I'm like, you fucking little asshole, you're speeding again. And then so I just pressed his hand like tight, like to kind of let him know like slow down. And he started like slowing down a little bit. And next thing you know, the fucking cop turns his lights on, kind of saying like, that's right, bitch. <laughs> and just like takes off. And I was like, that was a fucking cop. <laughs> Te la perdono. Yeah, no la sí. <laughs> oh my no, God. Si te la perdono. Like, literally, he literally could have pulled us over. So we just got home. I took off my makeup. I'm in my PJs now and I wanted to share with you guys something that has been every once in a while happening to me and I just think it's too fucking weird because I'm going to tell you guys why. So when I would 
do my nails i would always obviously take a picture and post it on the instagram and you know just share with you guys my nail design for that month right so i started doing this for many many months if you guys have been following me on my instagram then you guys know this already and there was one picture that i finally after so many nail pictures posted a picture finally on of this hand where i usually have my rings so that was the first picture ever that I posted showing off my nails and then you guys would see my marriage rings and um, thank you and after that as soon as I posted it tell me why that same day I had never in my entire life had ever ever anything happened to my finger but that day my finger started burning just like this right now okay like it just started like the ring started burning me i don't know what happened like it's not like i used anything different or anything like that like it just started burning out of the nowhere and the weird thing is is that i still wear rings in my other fingers i would i usually wear another one in this finger and also on this hand and if i was to use the same products um, or anything obviously they go both on my hands um, it's not like I'm just putting product in this exact finger and something's like you know just acting up with this finger so the reason I say that is because my, obviously my rings are real gold and the other rings that I wear all the time are also gold so if they were to have like a allergic reaction to something that maybe a lotion or something or like the soap um, I don't know just anything it would burn the same thing because they're made out of the same gold you know so that's the reason why i say like this is too fucking weird um so i ended up um tr taking off my ring the first time that this ever happened um letting cleaning in my ring and everything i was like tripping out i was like what the heck is happening um and then i tried putting it back on it would still burn the crap out of my finger um and it was just the ring literally so then after that, um, a few weeks go by, maybe like a week or so, right? Like I literally stopped using it for like a couple, a yeah, like a couple days or something like that. And I, I remember because also some of you guys noticed like, where's your ring? Um, where are your rings? You know, but um, I started putting them back on after putting so much alcohol in it and everything, like just dis disinfecting it every possible way that I can think of. And then it finally stopped, so I was like, okay, good. I just think it's too weird. I have to say this, but I feel like it's brujeria. Everybody keeps telling me, huh? Everybody keeps telling me, like, makes it on brujeria or something. And I, I'm starting to believe it because it's only on this finger. I Today I had my other rings on, all of them. Nothing happened to my other my other fingers. Like, it's they're perfectly fine. But you guys see the mark on this? like and mind you this had never i've been married what how many years already it's gonna be 10 no no you told me <laughs> yeah, so, yeah it's gonna be 10 next year um so never ever has this ever happened to me so it's not the ring because i've had it for so many years and nothing ever happened and the only ring that is newer is the actual one with the big rock um that one it's how long? Four years, babe? Does it la iglesia? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cuatro yeah, so that's the only newest ring, but the other one I've had it ever since me and him got married, and nothing had ever happened to me. And the newest ring, also, like throughout these whole entire years, like it had never had any issue on me with my skin or anything or any of my products or like nothing, you guys, honestly. And now all of a sudden, this is happening to me, and I'm just like, what the actual fuck? So I'm like, I think my mom's right. Like, me hicieron brujería or something. Because look how fucking red. Like, it literally burned me. I felt it, like, starting to burn um, while I was at the event. And I was like, the fuck? I was like, okay, starting to get itchy. And the next thing you know, um, I'm arriving here home. And I was like, oh, hell no. Like, I want to take off my ring. And then I get in here and I'm trying to do my skincare. And I'm like, you know what? I can't fucking stand my ring anymore. And I take it off and I'm like, oh my god, again? Like, seriously? Like, I don't know. I don't know what to do, guys. 
but um somebody did suggest that i should start wearing um la pulserita roja huh that's like for malas vibras y todo eso i think i just need to clean <laughs> honestly but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and enjoy my cereal and watch the very last episode of the act and then we'll say goodnight to you guys we just finished watching the act and now i'm just like it still blows my mind that this is even real like this actually happened just literally four years ago mind-blowing so no se me va a dar cosa ver the real actual people i don't know if i want to watch it honestly after all this shit like i'm just like what the fuck you know so many scary things like that but yeah anyways we're gonna go to sleep my love so we'll see you guys tomorrow Bye. Mm -hmm.